Hey everybody, in this video today, I'm gonna to take you through tools, resources, and links that our designers here at AJ and Smart use to stay on top of their game and stay inspired. I'm Brittany, and in this video today, I'm gonna to take you through a whole bunch of resources that our designers here at AJ and Smart use to stay inspired, to stay fresh, and just basically stay on top of their, the industry standard. I'm gonna actually walk you through a bunch of different links. We're gonna talk about them. I mean, I'll do most of the talking just because this is kind of the way that video works, um, but we'd love if you have anything to say about what we're showing, or if you have links to share of your own, please drop those in the comments because we'd love to know what you, what you're using to stay inspired to make sure that you're like in design. So now let's just dive into the resources. So I'm gonna take you into my computer. Um, I love to do that. So here, I mean, this is kind of an obvious one. If, you're, if you've been designing for a while, you probably know about it, but Dribble with two, Oh, I almost said two with three Bs, sorry. Dribble with three Bs is an, a fantastic platform where basically any designer can post their work. Um, but what's really great about it is it does actually filter things for you. So you can actually look at, um, based on designers, you can look at trending designers, see what's going on there, what people are talking about, and it kind of goes based on like followers, upvotes, those kinds of things. Also, you can look at just popular designers. So if you wanna know like all around you know what what people like are, are are actually liking on the platform that's super easy to see and it's just like filled with really oh look there's julie zoo oh she's in the envision one that's nice we like her a lot uh anyway she has a book maybe we can put the book up there um she has a really great book okay cool so this is obviously it's very visually pleasing really nice if you if you're feeling a little bit drab and you just need a little shake up, this is a great place because there's just thousands and thousands of designers on here. So Dribble, obviously a great one. The next one, also a bit obvious, but Behance is another one. This is um, a little bit more curated. So you have a really like beautiful, but also like a really good variety of different types of designs. So if you're looking for like a bit of inspiration in like a wider sense or a broader sense, this is a great place. Um, so you can actually look at curated galleries. Let's check those out based on basically what you're looking for. Graphic design, photography, illustration, interaction. That's super nice to be able to see. They also have a range of um, creative tools. So you can actually look at those and what people are using those for. So that's actually really super helpful if you're into a certain tool to be able to see what people are doing with that tool is pretty great. There's also of course the best of, which is uh, kind of where you land on Im immediately, but it's like beautiful things. Jim Mondo, this is a Berlin startup. That's cool, just random. Um, neat, oh, Postmates, oh, great. Who loves Postmates? great little service. Anyway, really nice stuff on there and I really love the way that they've actually um, uh, curated it for you. Okay, next up, this is kind of wild, but check this out. This is fantasy.co. It's actually um, an agency, if I've gotten that right. It's uh, like just being on this website just kind of blows your mind. It's all just beautiful and just floating around it here. Let's turn that sound on actually a little bit. Um, Never give up on your dream. Yeah, it's, it's Be pretty intense. Be your inspiration. A beacon of self-belief. Is it too much? I kind of like it. Um, but you can check out uh, their work basically based on if you are looking interested in web or apps or like the actual product. Um, this is just, I feel like this is just a beautifully inspirational website in general, um, but really super nice. Highly recommend checking that out. Should mention also obviously all the links to these resources, to these um, uh, inspirational resources are gonna be in the comments or in the description. So you can obviously find them all there. Okay, next up, we're gonna check out here Muesli. This is one of our favorites. Um, it's actually by Envision, um, but it is so nice. I'm just gonna get rid of those cookies. Those cookie pop-ups are just really getting me, I'll tell ya. But um, here's, they also have just the collections you can check out. You don't actually have to install Muesli, but it's super nice and a little bit more fun, right? It's like a little bit more dynamic. I really like uh, the style that they, 
they kind of seem to attract. Um, and there's also obviously Muesli has amazing blog um, articles. We've been also published in Muesli a couple of times. I don't see any of our posts here. But I do, I do think they're buried in here somewhere. But it's just, it, it's such a great um, blog and sort of hub for uh, inspirational content. Whether you want it actual visual or you want to read up about product strategy, about UI, what's hot in UX, all those kinds of things, you're going to find them all here. So Muesli, if you don't already know about it, it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, next one is awards. I wonder if people say it like that or if they maybe just say awards. But um, it's kind of a cool, you know, you can, you can actually pick locations. So you can actually find uh, agencies based on where you are. They've automatically chosen Germany. But let's see what's going on in the UK. So this is a bit of a, yeah, that's nice. And you can have them all laid out there for you. That's really cool. They've done it well. They've done it well. Um, oh, you can look based on the category of what you're looking for. So app art direction, interactive, graphic design, ooh, even social media is in there, so social media agencies. What you can also do on this site, which is kind of nice, is you can actually just look at winners, nominees, collections. Um, I mean, if you're looking to win a design award, I guess it might be kind of nice to see what the winners are looking like, what they're actually putting out there. Um, will help you help your chances probably. Uh, but collections, let's check that out because that's kind of cool. Oh, this is great. So you can look up menu inspiration. You can look up best of navigation if you're looking to, yeah, transitions, fonts. So definitely make sure you hit collections when you're on the oh, 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 Awards. Uh, dot com. Awards. Oh, awards. Good. Uh, okay, now I'm actually going to move on quite quickly to a few people on Twitter that you should be following. So, this first guy is Artyom Dashinsky. He, uh, he actually wrote a book, let's check that out. But our designers really like him because he's, he's kind of has a lot of product knowledge. Um, so you can actually, it's, uh, ooh, number one new releases on, in UX, in UX on Amazon. But that's cool, solving product, product design exercises. Um, that's really cool. So you can actually find his book there, but he also has, he's very, very active on Twitter and, uh, and has a lot of kind of like nice deep insights. Where did he work before? So he is uh, previously worked at WeWork and he's the creator of sketchkeys.com, which actually we should check that out. Let's pop that open. Ooh, cool. So you can get stickers for your keyboard. Ah, that's really cool. Oh, bravo, Artyom. We're all discovering this together. It's really nice. Okay, next one is Meng To. Um, this guy is really cool. He's got a lot of um, really nice looking designs, super active on Twitter, on the daily on Twitter. But this guy is cool. He, um, he's based in Montreal. Designcode.io is what he, where he's directing us. So there's courses in here. Um, you can actually just download, oh nice, nine, $9 per month and you can get access to 19 different courses in the range of design, um, animation. Oh, this is great. Figma, Framer X, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is really cool. So another really interesting guy to be following on Twitter. Okay, this next designer, I'm really excited about her. Her name is Lisa Hannawalt, and she is actually um, the, the animator, the designer of uh, BoJack Horseman, as well as uh, this Tuca and Birdie, which I haven't watched yet, but I've heard is quite funny. But let's be honest, Bojack Horseman kind of takes the cake. It's a very funny show. Um, so this is kind of just really cool. She is very, has a lot like, her, there's a lot of beauty in, in her designs. It's all very fun and lively. So she's a really fun one to follow as well. Um, next up, we have Irene O. Um, she is actually uh, formerly from Google, Yahoo, and Udacity, former boss of design. So she used to be uh, the head of design at those places. Um, she's also a yoga teacher, but based in Palo Alto. So she's in Silicon Valley, which is really cool. And she is uh, quite active as well. And a little bit more kind of, uh, I think more on the product strategy side, since she's kind of a little bit higher up um, in, the, in the old food chain. Um, but she's another person you should definitely be following on Twitter. And last Twitter recommendation is Dan Mall. Um, he seems like a very funny guy. He's the founder of Super Friendly Co and co-founder of Superbooked. Um, and he's also written a book called Pricing Design. That's kind of his sort of big thing is like, how do you actually price your design as a freelancer, even when you're doing really, really big projects. He kind of talks a lot about that. Um, he seems kind of like a bit of a goofball, which, you know, is good. That's always good. He says, trying to impress the ladies is his, uh, 
is his profile description. It's not the best. You can do better, Dan. I know you can. All right. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, he's super active and uh, and yeah, has a lot to say about it. And, it. and it's cool that he's giving really like kind of tangible tips and advice, which is what we love here at AJ and Smart. Okay, let's move on to Instagram. We've got a lot of really cool Instagram profiles to show you guys. Um, the first one is GIFUX. Yeah. So um, this is just, oh, it's just so clean and nice and simple. It happens daily and it's all about UX and UI. I mean, I don't really need to say more. It's gorgeous. It's just nice to have these kind of in your feed as a nice little reminder every time you're scrolling that you get sort of these glimpses of things that can kind of try to inspire you and keep you sort of in the know. UX Bytes is another good one. This is really cool actually. Um, we are so somewhat friendly on Instagram with these guys and uh, they only started their Instagram three months ago. So this makes me feel really sad about myself because they're, uh, they've surpassed us in followers. Um, but they are doing something a little bit different. Um, they're focusing a lot on kind of like UX and like, like definitions of UX and UI and really kind of getting into the nitty gritty of how it works. They're also talking a lot about like web design. Um, so they're talking here, this is really cool. So it's like um, why people abandon at the checkout process. So they talk a lot about client acquisition and that kind of thing in terms of design, which is really helpful if you're you know wanting to have an act, a real impact at work. The next one is Ramotion. Um, and this is a digital project product agency actually, um, and they are uh, working with Mozilla, Netflix, and Salesforce. Hello! So they're someone to follow, obviously. Anyway, so this is cool. They're, they're like super active on Instagram and it's very pretty. It's way prettier than our Instagram. But our Instagram, we're not trying to be pretty. I'm getting a little defensive here. I'm getting defensive and it's weird. Okay, the next one up here is the design tip. This is actually, um, oh, I actually really loved this video. They're posting stuff uh, daily as well but this is really cool. Uh, let's check out, this is their most recent one. What did they do? Oh. Oh, that is, that is cool. That's cool, so with 3D glasses. Okay, so this is like, I would say these guys are definitely doing a little bit more kind of kind of like tech forward design. You know, they're kind of playing a lot with different um, uh, different formats, which is, which is kind of fun to see as well. Good for the old inspiration front. Okay, then we have UI design patterns. Um, so this is a, actually daily UI and UX inspiration, but with a focus on uh, UI. So really beautiful looking stuff, I mean, yeah, what this is a video. Oof. Is that a burger? My god. It almost looks like you wouldn't want to eat it. It's like, would you want to eat that? I don't know. Um, but it looks nice. But yeah, like some super kind of nice stuff and a, a nice wide variety of things so that you can actually, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit more poppy, a little bit more sporty, you have that kind of to inspire you. And then if you're looking for something super like simplistic and kind of more monotone, you have that as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, next up here we have My Interface. Um, but basically they're focused on web and mobile interfaces. So if you're working in that, which you probably are, let's be honest, you probably are. Web and mobile, it's crazy. Um, yeah, but they have a nice four idea as well. Ooh, like that, pineapple. God, pineapples are making a comeback, aren't they? Really good, yeah. Okay, next up and last of our uh, Instagram is UI.designs. Um, this is a nice one too. Uh, yeah, you can actually get featured here if you have a really nice Instagram profile. <laughs> unlike ours. But this is really nice. Very, everything's super sleek and stre streamlined though. Nothing super poppy. Um, so yeah, it's nice to follow a variety of people so you're getting a little bit of everything. Um, but that's a really nice profile as well. Also, it's all video. So basically you're actually seeing what the website actually looks like as it's moving. Ooh, that's nice. We also have this so they can see actually what it is like moving through the app. Yeah. That's nice too, nice and sleek. Very cool, so definitely you should follow them. So I hope you actually found um, this helpful. I know that was a lot of links to throw at you. Out of all of those, there's gotta be like one that you like. 
Just kidding, there's probably more, hopefully. Um, but these are the kinds of things that we're always kind of looking for, we're always looking to, to make sure we're staying ahead of the curve, we're staying a little bit fresh, we know what's going on in the design world. It's a very fast changing world, everything's sort of moving um, very quickly, so it is important that you have a, a kind of a variety of places where you're getting your, your inspiration and your information. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more videos similar to it, please subscribe. You could also like this video that would just help uh, me and Callum who is editing and filming this just feel really good about ourselves so other things you can do if you want to follow us in other places I know I didn't talk very highly about our Instagram <laughs> profile but actually it's really great it's really great it's fun it's very authentic we show you actually like behind the scenes of how our agency runs so you should definitely follow us there um, also we have a really great podcast weekly uh, it comes out on Mondays in case you're wondering what it's called it's called product breakfast club it is featuring Jonathan Courtney who is our CEO and Jake Knapp who is the author of sprint and they're talking all things product strategy UX UI like big picture small picture everything uh, thanks again for watching you guys and thank you for your patience and I hope you found this helpful see you next time bye <laughs> I'm gonna show you a lot of resources that we use here in our agency in you know ahead of the game and make sure that they're always up to snuff with the most current cool trendy uh, uh, what's another word, Callum? Hi, I'm Brittany, and in this video today, I'm gonna walk you through a whole bunch, I don't even know how many resources I have up here in my computer.